Hey, how's it going? My name is Gabriel, and this is how you design a video game. I am the lead designer at Cage Studios, and we're going to go over how to create flickering lights in Unreal Engine 4 using simple timeline techniques with blueprints. First of all, I'm going to open my torch blueprint. So at the beginning, in the beginning, we bank the player reference, and we be given the recursive function to the flicker. If I double click this, it takes me to this event that I've created, and player distance is a variable that is calculated on event tick. So why don't I show you guys that? So in event tick, we calculate the distance from this actor to the player, which we banked in the beginning. So when we flicker, which happens on begin play and will recurse, meaning it will call itself at the end of its own animation to keep it looping, essentially. Distance to the player is below 20 meters or 2,000 centimeters. Then we do a small random delay to create to create a, to make sure that the torches are not in sync with each other with their flickering. We calculate their current intensity, where we want the new intensity to be, aka another random. Then we set the frame rate of the flicker timeline to 20 frames per second, or basically 0 0.05 is a 20th of a second to give it kind of a more status staccato to give it a, nat a more natural choppy feel to the flickering and then we start our flicker timeline and it's very important to play from start since we will be looping this and we will not be reversing it um, if you just hit play it'll only play the first time the timer will get to the end and that's where it thinks its current position in the timeline will be. So if I double click this timeline, it's a very simple 0 to 1 over 0.2 seconds. On update, basically, while we're doing the animation during the timeline, get the point light and set its intensity to a value that is eased between the old intensity and the new intensity, which is that new random value that we calculated previously. That'll basically just transition from one intensity to another uh, that is on a random scale and at the end of the animation do a one frame delay now this is a little bit hacky but basically a zero second delay is calculated as one frame and allows for the recursion to take an extra step and save a little bit of processing power uh, and then at the end we recurse the function now you'll notice I have this other branch here at the way beginning if player distance is beyond 20 meters then we, instead of calculating and doing delays and timelines, and we basically skip everything because we do not want to flicker, and we set a three second delay to check again at the beginning. So in three seconds, check again if we're within range. And that's basically how it works. Let's check it out in gameplay.